time they, they didn't want me to do that you know and it was fine by then and every time i would i would, I would talk about being educated that's where they are more interested in what i'm saying but when i talk about business or hustling they're less interested you know so it, it, it's part of life that's that's just how life is right now i, I went to my my high school i've pushed 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 obviously with the intentions uh of becoming educated and the reason why i wanted to be educated so bad uh was because of what the society portrayed that you actually need a piece of paper that piece of paper to 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 to, to be certified as somebody who's successful in life right that's that's what we're learning but now uh coming to think of it this system has destroyed so many souls hey because Hi Gabi, but when I was in high school, Nehonality Dom Cop. Honestly, there were dumb cops. You know, somebody who's a dumb cop. Someone who can't copy and paste. You know, someone who feels like nobody's business. We've 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 had we've had or been with those people back in high school, right? And they knew Hore they are actually dumb cops. Uh, because of what we say as people, right? We're now dumb. You are always failing, and now as I'm growing up, I'm starting to think about their 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 confidence, their self esteem, or what what is it that we were doing to them? You know, I'm I'm starting to think about it, and But anyways, so it has been. Uh, painted to us that you know if you're failing in school you you'll end up being a taxi driver or working as a teller just just a nobody in the society for the mere fact that you are failing at school right and that has destroyed many people because it's like if you can't have that piece of paper then you are certified as a failure in life you know that's that's just how the society and the system is anger and back in my days I've, I've i've been in class i've always been the second best you know second best in class especially when it comes to math literacy and economics i've always been second best the way people were doing better than me uh, i've always been in the top five i've always been there you know, if, if I'm not the second best, I'm probably number three, four, five, right? And there were people who were intelligent than me, like than me, you know? And we have always believed that people who are intelligent in school or people who pass with flying colors are going to make it in life. But now, fast forward, fast forward right now, I have... I've, I've, I've met a couple of intelligent people and I ask them, hey, chief, you're still alive. What are you pushing? Uh, ah, dog, I'm, 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 I'm working at the municipality somewhere, you know. Oh, okay, Evan, you even have a car. Yeah, dog, I'm pushing. And when you look at the car, it's a VW Polo. I'm talking about an, intelli an intelligent person. A VW Polo. He has graduated all that, you know. And now, when it's time for him to see my car, now that's when he gets to see that, I life is not fair indeed. Because now, even, even him, he can't understand, like, how on earth is this possible, you know? Because I remember at that time, I, uh, he was one of the best. I'm talking about a person who would actually get 99% in accounting. Who who else on earth does that? 99%, you know? And when he was able to see that, eh, 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 Hanamo, because he, he knew that I was, I was, I was failing in varsity. He knew that I was failing. Now, I've, 
as, as I'm here sitting here, I'm thinking about how many souls were destroyed because people believed they are not good enough because of how the system is. Yeah, did you get my point? How many people believe Tore? Now I'm not enough. I will never make it in life because I'm not intelligent as Ban Ban. You know? But I must, I, I, I'm, I'm a living proof. I'm a living evidence. I can reassure you. I can reassure you uh, that failing is nothing, guys. Failing is nothing. I've, I've, I've been there. Failing is nothing. And don't worry about uh, people who are doing better than you. God has a bigger plan ahead. But obviously, you must just not, you mustn't just believe that God has a bigger plan and not work for anything. You still need to hustle. You still need to think out of the box. Now, I'm going to be talking about the finances when it comes to, 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 to the education system, right? And how our, I wish, I wish we could have this conversation with our parents uh, how our parents claim that they don't have money. Our parents always claim that they don't have money, but I can assure you our parents have money. Trust me. It all depends on where you are taking the money to. I grew up under the conditions of, co of poverty, but uh, my mother was, was able to, 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 to get money make loans that is getting money it doesn't matter whether it was a loan or she won lotto or what but she was able to get money so that she can take me to varsity right now i'm going to calculate my varsity expenses remember now i grew up thinking that my parents don't have access to money because i've always asked them to sponsor what i love which is music but they didn't have money for that they never had money for that but when it comes to school, they make the biggest sacrifices ever. You understand? Remember, I think they don't have money. No, now I went to varsity. That was in 2013, uh, TUT. Uh, uh, 2013, January, that was when I was actually moving out of the shack that I was staying in. Uh, remember, I was, I was actually staying in a shack before, you know? Uh, from I think it was 2006 up until 2012 December December 2012 was my last month uh, staying in a shack so January we managed to move uh, in a small house when I went to varsity you know so when I went to varsity obviously I'm going to varsity because my mom told me that my son I, I, I don't have money you know the situation at home and I can't pretend as if I I don't know the situation at home. I know the situation at home. I know what we've been through. So in my head, I'm thinking, they don't have money. They don't have money. They don't have money. So I applied for NASFAS. I applied for NASFAS, and NASFAS rejected me. Actually, they didn't reject me. They said they, they don't have enough funds. You know, they said they don't have enough funds to cover all students. Now, you know TUT. Even Nesfas knows TUT. You cannot say no to 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 TUT. You 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 cannot say no to TUT. So they striked. After striking, uh, then Nesfas uh, increased the budget for 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 and for Nesfas and yeah, you know, to cover more students. So I was one of the lucky ones who were covered by the increased budget, right? So I got Nesfas. I got to study with Nesfas. That, that was my first year, right? So my first year fees were around about 20-something thousand rands. 20-something 20, 20 thousand rands. I, I, I think it was, I, it was, yeah, 20, between 24,000 and 32,000 in between total fees, right, for the first year. That is the first semester and the second semester as well, right? So I've, I've, I've registered in everything. So I was studying local government finance. So Nesfas was giving us money every month. I forgot how much, but they were giving us money for Groza. They were giving us money for, for book allowance. So the only money my mom would send, ke 200 tenyana just for, you know, small things, 200 tenyana. But the sad part about it was that 
even that 200 that she used to send me uh i i used to give it to my girlfriend you see woman hey hey woman hey so i used to sacrifice the small amount of money that i get from my mom and i gave it to my girlfriend all of it you know uh that was love guys i, I was in love so you can't blame me so there is this thing called bunny chow in english you know so she she was telling me that hey now nah, now nah, i can't cook every day so i i want to eat patro every day so i every the 200 which my mom used to give me or whatever i use all of it take it to my girlfriend and after two weeks obviously it's finished and then i have to call my mom and i'm be like yo mom um there was this um there was this place inside the campus called cura now it was just a building office building inside it was called cura ne koko titi kharangwa campus so i used to call my mom and be like yo mommy um you know i, I want to make it right so there is like this trip that i need to go to eh are where where is it going no mommy it's going to cura are cura get a are cura is in like the country get no mommy the country is cuba now i'm going to cura so they it's not expensive they just need like 500 and she's like oh okay i don't have it but i'll make a plan now that was my first attempt of 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 investigating whether my mom had money or not so after two hours you'd call yeah no i sent it because i i was i was still using capital bank um around that time you know so i i would withdraw the money and i would give it to the girlfriend you you, you see it's it's true love you know I'm, I'm 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 not a bad guy i used to be a good guy back in the days you know until i learned the lesson obviously so now i've i've had a multiple incidents whereby i'm i'm asking money every time when it's about school my mom would always provide but when it's for my personal use she doesn't have money you know and every time when she would provide that would more or less be a loan actually it's not like she she actually had the money it, it would be more or less a loan which she has to pay later on you understand so now um i, I did my things i did my things first year done and dusted and i i i failed everything you know and now i'm proud but obviously around that time when i was failing everything people were laughing at me and it's funny that the same people who were laughing at me right now they are on my dms asking for employment and that is called life hey it used to hurt me a lot that why why don't i just make it in life like these people why don't i just pass like these people i didn't understand you know and that is why it's important to run your own race in life you know push your own hustle never compete with anybody because i used to feel left out you understand i used to be to feel to feel left out so life is twisted and i hope life doesn't twist worse than than what it is now so anyways i i've I finished with my first year and i i failed everything uh, with confidence by the way and don't you dare laugh at me because you are sitting at home with that degree so don't 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 even try me <laughs> and uh, i i was supposed to get excluded exclusion simply means that the varsity is chasing you but I, I i didn't get excluded because i changed my course i moved to economics that was 2014 now i moved to economics now nesfas first thing nesfas chased me nesfas chased me now i have to study with cash now as i'm sitting home with uh, my parents and i explain to them uh, that uh, i i failed because uh, the course that i was doing is is just not my favorite so i failed because i i wanted economics which is what i'm gonna do now so just give me a chance i'm gonna make it this time so they gave me a chance but now the problem was nesfas was not covering my fees at all at that time 
right? And now it means that I have to start. Uh, I have to start uh, studying with cash now, meaning that I have to pay fees. So now registration came. I think reg registration was about one thousand five hundred. Yeah. So registration came, and then my mom asked me how much is the registration, and then I told her that it's one point five, and then I gave her uh, the, the 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 one. Uh, she gave me the 1.5 I mean and I paid the registration and I registered for the for the new course right which which was economics that was in 2014 now my fees for 2014 starting with cash they were around about um, I think they were somewhere around 30 something thousand between 20 and 30 no actually they were about 30 something thousand i think yeah they were 30 something thousand because first semester they were about 16 thousand like first six months then the other maybe 15 or 14 so let's just keep it on 30 thousand so let me say my my fees for the year were around 30 thousand rent and now it's cash remember that and when it's cash my mom at that time she was earning about less than four thousand yeah yeah she was earning about plus or minus four thousand actually it was four thousand or less by that time so obviously she has to she has other obligations and i just had a little sister as well you know she needs to to take care of her and then now i'm at varsity my father my father got uh, retrenched from work. You know, uh, it means that he 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 can't he can't he can't bring in income at, at the house. So it was like the only income which my mom had was her salary, right? Coming to think of it, my mom used to earn four thousand, but she used to make at least between 400,000 and 800,000 for the boss. Life, guys. Life! Ah, life is difficult. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, life is difficult, guys. She was making 400 to 800,000, obviously depending on, on, on month end, close to 800,000. During the month, I mean, uh, yeah, no, actually it was, it was total, like for the whole month. Yeah. But some months are not the same as others. So but December should, should, should make a lot of money for the company and should get paid 4,000, you know, and I, I, life is difficult guys. My father, uh, he used to work at the mines. Now I'm, 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 I'm educating you guys um, when it comes to finances, financial education in general, which is basically my personal experience in life, you know, nothing hectic. So my father used to work at the mines and he worked at the mine for plus or minus 16 to 20 years working at the mine right and yeah lena he was not earning much nah he was not earning much as well Corre, it was just disaster as well you know and sometimes i wonder how we were able to survive how we were able to survive during those conditions at that time you know but otherwise god is good hey eh? uh, god is good at the end of the day so anyways um so that's that's just how how it used to be so my fees were about woman 30 30,000 plus or minus and i haven't counted books i haven't counted accommodation i haven't counted groceries you know so my mom uh sorry about that sorry about that so my mom used to give me an allowance of about it was um, how much she used to give me an allowance of about 750 rents uh back in varsity she used to give me an allowance of about 750 rents 
and my rent where I was staying. And sorry about that. I'm actually receiving a phone call here, but I'll call them back. So where I was staying was about 500 rent, right? So I was paying rent for 500 rent, and then I, I had 250 rents left so with that 250 rents i had to buy grocer with it i was buying grocery for 250 rents because mesfas has kicked me now i'm starting on cash right so now my my my, my mom had had a battle of actually paying fees so she she was she was i don't know how she has managed to do it but she managed to pay the fees during that year while earning that that amount of money and it turns out that she actually took a loan to cover my fees for 2014 she took a loan to cover my fees so let's just assume that let's let's just um i'm trying to to do calculations here so that you can understand the moral of this live at the end of the live video remember our parents always claim that they don't have money uh especially when it comes to our dreams but it turns out that our parents are rich as fuck it all depends on what do you want to do with the money that's 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 what matters so yeah i'm i'm, I'm trying to turn this thing on here it's, it's one of my laptops but it's it looks like it's it looks like it's better loss i need to charge it a bit so my fees were about uh, okay, let's just say she took a loan of about 35,000 to cover all my fees, right? And that is 35,000, 2014, right? 2014, 35,000. And at the end of the year, I've, 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 I've done what I do best, and that is to fail again. So 2014, I've, I've failed again, you know? And I don't really know the reason behind that because i am i'm smart man you know i'm smart very very smart i don't know why i would fail constantly because i i am smart i know but yeah it is what it is so 2014 i failed again now we're going to 2015 2015 i need to re-register for the same course again right and fees were plus or minus thirty thousand because i was doing the same subject 20 uh that was 2015 now 2015 she managed to pay them again because i was studying cash now when i calculate i've actually spent about for the past two years my mom spent more than seventy thousand rents she spent more than seventy thousand rents paying for my fees right more than seventy thousand rents for two years and i've studied for four years i i I've, in total i've studied for the for four years and quit on the fifth one now that is seventy thousand rent just an overall estimation and i haven't counted the grocery money that she was giving me i haven't counted the scams that i've been doing uh, for love you know for love you know i've been uh, telling a story so that I can give my girlfriend some money. You know, man, being in love, you, you guys do that a lot, I know. You know, I haven't counted that. I haven't counted uh, clothes. I haven't counted so many things, you know. That is, I'm just sticking to the fees. Now, our, our parents always tell us that they don't have money. You know, my, my parents being one of them. She, she she was able to cover uh, this fees which she spent plus or minus seventy thousand covering the fees yet still she claimed she doesn't have money you know and i got to have this conversation with her just this past december you know just this past december asking her how did she make it how was she able to to get so much money that she doesn't even afford or she can't even afford i mean you know how was she able to do that and then she told me that you know my son um growing up as black people 
we are taught that there's only one thing that you need to do in life and that is to go to school therefore if you fail to go to school the least you could do is to make sure your children go to school that is the least you could do so as a parent i was doing that because you are the only person who can save me or save the family you know so my son you you needed to be educated at that time because if you are not educated then the family is not going anywhere you know uh, you can see your uncles didn't go to school they are security guards they are hustling nothing is working out you know and i'm also struggling even though uh, they've increased my salary after uh, some time because I got permanent at work, but still it was not getting any better. So you needed, you were like the face to save our family uh, um, 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 when it comes to school. And I understood, I understand, I understood, I understand. I, 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 I get where she's coming from. But now, coming to think of it, if our parents have actually invested so much in our dreams, basically. If, if our parents had supported us or invested uh, the amount of money that they're investing in school for our dreams, I think the country would be a better place because we wouldn't have this high rate of unemployment right now. We wouldn't have uh, the, 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 the uh, working this lay queen on Instagram, these people have no choice. You know, they, they need to do what they need to do to get money. Because now most of them are sitting with qualifications at home. You know, how many people who are on this live and they are educated, they've actually won that graduation gown. Because now the black society's mentality, when anything which is all about financial freedom they label it as a scam that is why i was never celebrated by my black society for trading forex instead i was labeled as a scammer you understand and they think what they're doing is okay because it's in their minds it's part of the system they the system has taught them to think that way that's why and many people will say I'm a hater. It's fine. I am. That's why you will see many people are, 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 are too quick to say congratulations to a person who has worn that black gown and that belt here for graduation. Everybody, it, it's, it's, it's a common thing. We, we are so quick to say congratulations to somebody who has graduated in varsity, but we never say congratulations to someone who has started a business. Think about it. And I know you, 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 you people are lazy to think. My followers, hey, hey, little dumb man, little naman. Hey, you are just like me. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Just, just think about it. Not nobody. Nobody, when I, when I, I'm talking about when I started, because nobody graduates and just gets a perfect job out of nowhere. People start with internships, they get promotions and all that. But they receive congratulations on the ground as soon as they graduate. As soon as they graduate, they receive congratulations from the society in general. Then hustlers and people like us, when we start a business, when we start trading, we receive labels, scammer. You understand and if you're not doing forex you're doing other businesses tenders for example then you are labeled as somebody who has a snake just think about it you know because there is no person who has actually seen me me per se that okay this guy is a scammer no but you guys you guys say it so confidently so as if you know where I come from. You, you say it confidently so. Just like a person who is, who is successful in business, running his tenders, you say it confidently, confidently that this guy has a snake. With confidence. As if you have seen that snake. 
Just the other day, just the other day, in my room, in my bedroom, a bed just entered. I don't know how, but I think it was through the window. And Vincent was coming uh, to pee at the toilet, and then he found a bed. You know, like a bed. A bed is like an owl's cousin. You know, that small, scary thing which comes out in the dark. So it was in my room. And when Vincent told me about it, I came up to check if it's true. And then I found it lying in the basin. Was it? No, no, next to the basin. And after that, I told my manager to, to remove it. After that, I started my car and I slept at a hotel. I'm not flexing, it's my reality, by the way. So I'm, I'm scared of a bed. Just a bed. Now, how the fuck am I supposed to stay with a snake in the house? How the fuck am I supposed to stay with a snake at the house? I'm even scared of a dog. Me and a dog don't get along. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm a dog as well. You know, men are dogs, but me and a dog don't get along at all. So how, am, how the fuck am I supposed to stay with a snake and even get to talk to the snake if it does talk? You understand? So what I'm trying to tell you is that I'm a softy inside. I might look, look tough, but I'm a softy in, inside. So I didn't sleep at home. I slept at a hotel. Until auntie came, she cleaned my, my room, checked if there are no more beds. Because I don't want to, you know, imagine guys, imagine. Because now, remember, a man is weak, right? Especially when we are coming. Imagine I'm lying on my bed. And I'm, I'm doing my things. I'm masturbating, uh, doing my things. Because I even have uh, the masturbation equipment. I have the oils. I have everything. Nah, Yazi, I'm so tight in life. Imagine I'm masturbating while I'm talking, uh, looking at your, your Instagram pictures, you know, uh, looking at your Instagram pictures, masturbating or watching porn or doing whatever the case it may be then when i'm about to come just that moment that i've been waiting for when i'm about to come then a bed comes out of nowhere what do you think is going to happen to me what do you think is going to happen to me because number one i'm 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 coming dog i mean men understand this better you know how we are when we are coming i'm coming dog that simply means that my common sense, my nerves, my immune system, my brain, everything in my body has shut down. The only thing that's working is my dick at that time. My scrotum, the whole package is the only thing that's working. Okay, two things. Okay, three things. My head, occasionally. My hand, because I'm using right hand. Because I can't really do it with the left hand. It's too weak. I won't come anytime soon. But uh, yeah, so you, you get me. Then I'm coming and then there's a, a bed in the room. What's going to happen to me? I'm going to die. Definitely I will come and die. And coming to think of it, that would be the best moment to die though. Imagine dying while coming. Fuck. No, no, not dying while coming. Coming and dying after, like immediately on the spot. After you come, you die. I'm sure even when you, you enter heaven, if uh, God has finally given, uh, forgiven, I mean Jesus, if he has forgiven Jurio, like Mangana, this guy, um, Judas Cariot, if God has given Juriot, has forgiven Juriot, the Cariot, or Kimangakti, he's going to shake your hand that you are a young man, you have lived your part. Coming and dying, that is the best thing. So I, I would die, I, I, I was going to die, you know, because I'm scared of these things, the bats, owls, everything. So not to mention having a snake. That's fucked up, dog. That's fucked up. So I was going to die. And obviously now after I come and I see this thing and then I die because now remember when you are coming, everything freezes for a moment. It's like everything is not working. Nothing else matters. I can't even stop coming, so this thing is coming and I'll just faint and die. And after a moment, it's find, it finds its way out, maybe through the balcony, uh, sliding door or the window at the toilet. And Vincent opens the room in the morning and then he finds me naked.